Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 24. So yesterday we talked about document management within opportunities, so we're going to dive back into that opportunity and talk about how to load documents into our placeholders for compliance. So we are in our Cultivate Buyer Pipeline. Let's go ahead and click on the opportunity name, and then we'll click on the Documents tab. And yesterday we selected this checklist, which is the check one of the checklists that I have available in my Keller Williams Command account. Uh, each of us are going to have different checklists depending on how our market centers uh, built these out. But this is the one that I've selected. Let's say that is a new, uh, well, let's say not a brand new house, but it's a new buyer contract. For me, we're going under contract and it's now time to start loading in documents. So first I need to select the folder and make sure I'm in the right folder, right? With the documents that need to be uploaded. And then from there, I have a couple of different options. So I can bring them in one by one by clicking on add a file, or I can bring them in multiple documents at once by clicking on attach multiple files. This is definitely what I would recommend most use cases, unless you're literally just adding in one document. I'm going to click on attach multiple files and you'll see I get this pop-up that shows up and basically on the left hand side it shows me all of the document placeholder names in the middle I can see what type of document that should be and then on the right you can see drag and drop or browse your files now that's because I have it set to manual which means that I could click here and then it would open my actual hard drive or my Google Drive in this case for me and I could go through and find my buyers and then start bringing in documents from there. Or since I connected this opportunity to DocuSign, I could click on the DocuSign radio button here. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to tell, bring all these drop downs in. And so if I was looking for the broker notice to buyer tenant, I would come through and say, okay, let me find broker notice to buyer tenant. Here it is, I uh, know that's not it. Uh, let's just do buyer representation agreement. And here is the buyer representation agreement and contract fully executed great let me go fill that find that here it is one to four family residential and so on and so forth so basically i would just look at the document title click on the drop down box find that document from and all of these documents are being pulled in from your docusign room that we created previously from the documents that were brought into that room which happened in a previous challenge so once we've gone through and pulled in as many of the document placeholders as we can, we would just click on attach. And then you're going to see on the right hand side now, these documents have now been attached to these placeholders. If for any reason these were the wrong documents, I can click on the three little dots and then just click on remove. I'll say, are you sure? And I'll say, yes, I attached the wrong one. I could go back in just to that one placeholder, just to show you the other way, click on DocuSign, and then it'll show me here are all the documents that are in this folder. And I could say, yep, this is the one I want to assign. And boom, there you go. So that's how you fill in your documents for your placeholder. Once you've gone through and filled in all of the required documents that your compliance broker is going to ask you to have before submitting, then you can come back up to the top and click on Submit to MC. At that point, you've now sent in a compliance request to your compliance officer who can see that request within Command MC and we'll then read through when they have the time to check all your documents and then they're either going to approve or return that request and they'll typically have notes. So that's essentially how you're going to get your documents into your command opportunity for submitting to your market center. Now realize you can bring those in from DocuSign. If you're still using DotLoop and you connect it to DotLoop, you would have a DotLoop button up here. If you're just bringing them in and scanning them into your hard drive, obviously, then you can just do the manual method and find them on your hard drive. You can also load documents into your custom folders. One thing I didn't mention. So here's where I could load custom folders. So it might be that I'm going to add custom folders with floor plans and additional docs, right? And so that might be um, documents that don't necessarily go on any of these placeholders per se, but I want to keep them in there. And I could also come down and say, I wanna add an item. I just wanna have the floor plan available for me to reference in the future in my uh, document placeholders there. And so this would just be, uh, let's scroll down all the way. This would be other. 
and then I could manually go find the floor plan document from somewhere within my command or my uh, computer, excuse me. And I could click on save and that would then add a placeholder to the very bottom of the list for that custom document. So that's how we manage documents within KW Command, the documents tab of our opportunities. As always, it's great talking to you guys and I will look forward to speaking with you again tomorrow. Thanks so much.